Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. So for today's video, I'm actually going to do a Lux Kill haul. I ordered from Lux to Kill a couple of days ago and it was supposed to come yesterday, but next day's delivery is not next day's delivery anymore, which is quite infuriating. So it did come today. So I was going to film this video yesterday, but um filming it today, but it's all good. I'm actually filming this on New Year's Eve. Uh, do I have plans tonight? No, I don't. So instead I thought, you know what, I'll film a video, get this up tomorrow hopefully and give you guys more content. So yeah. Can we also just talk about how expensive clothes are? Like I literally ordered like five items and it came up, up to like 110, 115 pounds and that was with a sale. Like So looks to kill actually has a sale on right now. So before that it would have been like 200 pounds. Like clothes are so expensive nowadays. Um, and that's why my bank account is not liking me at the moment. But um, yeah, considering Looks to Kill is very popular at the moment, I thought I'd kind of do a haul, view the items, try them on, talk about the quality, the price, and everything in between. So yeah, really hope you enjoy, and let's just get straight onto it. So first of all, I got a pair of jeans. I'm so picky with jeans. Like, I'm like in between sizes. I'm like a six to an eight. It really depends on the brand. So I don't have high hopes. Not because of the brand, it's just because jeans never fit me perfectly, especially high-waisted ones. I can get away with more low-waist jeans, but high-waisted ones, they just never work. Okay, this is not a great start. I'm sure I ordered them in size 6. I'm sure I did. And they are literally just an extra small. Um, they look like they will fit, hopefully, but I don't know why I ordered them in the size 6 and they gave me an extra small. They should just put what size it should be really isn't that like the law i'm not sure but um i'm a bit annoyed about that i don't know why that's happened so my camera just cut out on me so that's great um but i was just gonna say that i love the wash of the jeans like they are picking up more warmer tone and darker on camera but in real life they are lighter and that like perfect light wash of jeans which is personally my favorite wash for jeans yeah, that makes sense. Um, but I'm just a bit annoyed how they look like they're going to be really long. But that's not a me problem. That's just me being 5'2". I feel like every single haul where I talk about trousers, I'm just going to be like, yeah, they're going to be too long for me. Because I feel like trousers cater for more like 5'6", five, 5'7", five, girls. Um, but 5'2", me, it's just not going to happen because I'm just small. Like, really, I just am. So I feel like that's why um, with clothes, I feel like they should do more like lengths you know, like what men do but for women i don't know why they don't do it but it's it's kind of annoying this video is just a full and fail when you're seeing this it's actually the first thing that i'm actually trying on but in reality this is the last thing because i've actually like tried on myself um yeah these jeans are size six they're just too big which is the which is so annoying because the satin trousers that you'll see fit really nicely around the waist and there is size six but these are just too big which is really annoying because they're actually the jeans are really nice it's not just the waist though that they don't fit they're just so long on the legs as well and just everywhere they are so unflattering yeah this video is just a full-on fail but i hope that's just entertaining because i feel like this is a reality of clothes where you order so many clothes like the majority of clothes you order they will just majority of the time they just won't fit which is um happens to me so much i feel like it will happen to you guys a lot as well and i feel like you see people doing hauls and everything fits really nicely and then you're just there thinking okay that just does not happen to me i just hope when you're watching this video you just kind of realize that like things don't fit everyone um and my video is just stay very much of an example of that because nothing has fit unfortunately i've spoiled the rest of the video but um yeah nothing has fit unfortunately but um hope you enjoy anyway hope you do enjoy this video the next thing is a two-piece which is actually the thing i was most excited about i've been seeing this all over like tiktok instagram and everyone i've seen looks so nice in it so i hope it looks nice it's just a corset top and a skirt two-piece so i'll show you it now i just i really hope it fits i really hope it does and the thing is i don't have anywhere to wear it to except from like instagram pictures um but maybe sometime in the future I'll find a place to wear this because it is honestly like the nicest cohort. So this is a skirt. I feel like this is something you'll either love or hate. I feel like it's kind of like army kind of inspired. When I first saw it, I kind of thought, oh, it kind of looks a bit like mould. But I liked it. So yeah, this is the mini skirt. It actually looks like it's not going to be too long, which is a good thing. Um, This is the pattern on it. It's just... There's just so many colours going on. There's black, white, green. Yeah, it does kind of look like damp and mould, but um, 
I still really like the pattern and I still feel like it does look quite cute. And this is the matching corset. So it is a strapless corset top. The only thing is I got them both in a size 8 because I was looking at quite a lot of TikToks for looks to kill it and people do say like size up. But I feel like this might be a bit too big for me. Which is kind of upsetting because I do love it. So yeah, it's just the exact same pattern as the skirt and then it just has those like you know the clasps what are they called the clasps in the back and also what i've also realized is the cups are quite big and i do have very small boobs so i just hope it doesn't make me look flat, flat chested because i feel like it might and this is really annoying because i actually really like the top but like the skirt will look nice i'm just not so sure about the top also the material on both things i thought it was going to be denim i don't know why it kind of looked like it was going to be denim it's kind of I don't know, it's kind of rough but soft at the same time. Like, it's got that, like, rough and... I was going to say consistency. Is that the right phrase? Yeah. But it's not, like, itchy. I don't know how to describe it. It's very thick, though. Like, the actual items do feel really good quality, which I feel like looks to kill is. Like, the prices are a bit more expensive. So, like, more expensive than, like, pre-alert thing, boohoo, that kind of thing. And I feel like the quality kind of matches the price. So, this was actually not in the sale. So, I think the skirt... I don't know if one was like 36 and 40 and one was 36 and 30. I'm not sure. I'll link everything down below if you're interested. But yeah, I just I just hope it fits. I feel like the skirt fits, but I'm not so sure about the corset. I think this is one of the worst clothing piles I've ever had. This top just does not fit. I've even had to put like a bobble at the back and it just still is so big. I would definitely say if you have small boobs like me, do not get this. I feel like the skirt is it's not that bad, but it's just not flattering whatsoever. And the corset top, I just knew it was going to be too big. And like the cup sizes are really big as well. So yeah, that's great. Uh, I feel like definitely size is down with this. I've got an eight and usually eights fit me perfectly with things, especially tops. This one just does not. I just knew it wasn't going to fit. And it's so disappointing because this outfit is actually really cute. Well, it would look nice if it fit, but because it just does not fit, it looks like I'm wearing a bin bag. I'm so disappointed because I was going to like do an Instagram post for these things, but I can't anymore because there's no way I'll be able to make this look good. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love how it's literally like 8 o'clock on New Year's Eve and I've literally got a pint of water uh, when literally everyone else is drinking right now. Sometimes I do think I have a bit of a sad life. The next thing I got was this top. I was looking for ages for like nice tops and there were quite a few but they were very expensive and the ones I did like were like out of stock in my size and this one was literally like a 10 or something so I don't know how it will look because it was like 70% off. Um, so I don't know it will look bad because it's in the sale but when I saw it on the website it looked really really nice on the model so we'll see. So this is the top, I feel like we're just holding up, it's not going to do it justice, so you'll kind of see it properly when it's on, but it's just a black, yeah, well of course it's black, you can see it's black, it's just a black top, and then it just has like a gold button in the middle, I actually really like this top because I love that it has shoulder pads, I did not think it was going to have shoulder pads, and the quality is really nice, so it's just long sleeved, and then, okay, just undone, uh, that's not great. I just hope it doesn't easily undone because then your whole booze will be out, which I don't think anyone is looking for. But it just has some little cups here where you put your boobs, um, which they actually look quite small. So I feel like this might be something that actually does work for me, hopefully. But I just picked it up because it was like a tenner. Really, that's the reason why I picked it up and I thought it would look nice with the next thing that I'm going to show you. But yeah, we'll see. I just love the shoulder pads. I don't know why I love things with shoulder pads. Is that weird? Whenever there's like blazers with shoulder pads, I really love it. Is that strange? I think it is. Um, but yeah, I don't know how this is going to look because I feel like it'll look better on than it does off. But I feel like with the next thing I said, I think it'll look really nice. I'm saying the next thing, but it's actually the last thing. As I said, I didn't get a lot for £110, so I don't know how any of this is going to look. But the final thing I got was a pair of satin trousers. I have wanted a pair of satin trousers for literally the longest time. And they look so nice on everyone. So I thought, you know what? It's my turn. I'm going to treat myself to some. Just please ignore that when I'm showing these, the lighting is going really dark because of the light from these. But these are the satin trousers. Again, they are they are so long. I feel like I'd have to wear heels with these, which I feel like 
they are trousers that you would wear with heels anyway. I got them in a size 6 and I feel like they are going to fit. The only thing is they are see-through and I didn't think they would be, you know, because of that like satin material. I didn't think satin, satin like clothes, they would be see-through, but they are because they are that like thinner, thinner, what's the word I'm looking for? Thinner, that thinner material. Why did it take me that long to think of just the word material? I don't know. But um, yeah, I'm a bit annoyed about that, but I feel like if I just wear nude or white underwear, I don't think you'll be able to see anything. I hope anyway, because they are honestly the nicest trousers. Like, I love them. They're very much of like a going out trousers. Again, something that I feel like would be good on New Year's Eve. By the way, for the third time, I don't have any plans. So, uh, so yeah. I just hope that when I put them on, they're not actually see-through. I feel like that might be why they were in the sale, because they are. But hopefully they won't be, because I honestly just love them. I do really like them. I feel like at this point, this video is just a bit of a fail. Uh, also, when my nails broke, so that's great. But yeah, both things, I'll, I'll explain why. So first of all, the top, it's just the cup size. It's again, just too big. Just if you have bigger boobs, this will work for you. If not, it won't. Like there is so much like gapping. And also at the back, this, I got this in a size six, so it should fit perfectly. It is baggy as well unfortunately the actual length of this top is really nice the quality is really nice the actual top itself the design is so pretty it's just story of my life just having small boobs um and then the trousers i love them they are long but again it just always happens around the waist they fit perfectly like size six fits so nicely around the waist but they are see-through yeah uh they are see-through which you can't tell from the front really but at the back you can see my underwear which I've worn underwear that should not look see-through but it still is I feel like some people will literally just go out and you can see like a bit of the underwear and they'll be completely cool with it which like if that's you you do you but personally for me I feel like I just feel a bit insecure but I just honestly love these trousers as well like they fit really nicely but it's just a see-through aspect that I just I'm not really a fan of so that's everything for the haul. I really hope you did enjoy. I know there wasn't a lot, but maybe in the future I'll have bigger budgets and kind of buy more clothes to show you guys because spending £100 on one website does hurt my bank account and uh, it does nearly give me a heart attack. So that's great. But as I said, I did hope you did enjoy and you're having a good like New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, whatever day this video is going live. I really do not know when this is going to be up. Hopefully on New Year's Day or if not the 1st of January, but I hope you have a good New Year's. Please make sure you like and subscribe and yeah, I'll see you in a brand new video. Bye.